Welcome to Instrument Engineer Channel, powered by InstrumentationPortal.com. This video will explain what shutdown logic diagram is. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is a new channel and producing more videos so that you will not be missed the new ones. Okay, let's we start. The operation of oil and gas facilities involves high inherent risks due to the presence of dangerous material like gases and chemicals. The risks due to dealing with highly combustible materials, high pressure sister system, and existence of toxic gas such as H2S. This hazard could result in accident if it is not handled and monitored thoroughly. In order oil and gas facilities can operate safely, several protection layers are needed to protect the entire facilities. There are seven items that constitute protection layers. Process design. Basic process control system, including process alarms and operator supervision. Critical alarms and manual intervention. Safety instrumented system. Active physical protection, such as relief valve. Passive physical protection, such as dikes or blast wall. And emergency response procedure. If an incident occurs, these layers shall protect the facilities. And if a particular protection layer fails to handle it, then the higher protection layer is expected to provide protection and handle the hazards that occur. In this protection layer, there are layers that work with automation, basic process control system, and safety instrumented system. Safety Instrumented System, or SIS, has some other names. Safety Shutdown System, or SSS. And Emergency Shutdown System, or ESD. The term SIS is more widely used, and this term is also used by the ISA Committee. Process Control System, or PCS, and Safety Instrumented System, or SIS, consist of sensors, controllers, and final elements. It should be noted, Safety Instrumented System and Basic Process Control System must be fully separated from the sensor up to the final element. In this picture, there are pressure transmitter and control valve that are part of the PCS, and there are pressure transmitter and shutdown valve that are part of the SIS. Control system for the safety instrumented system must be programmed by entering the logic that is specified in the shutdown logic diagram. The objective of SIS is provide protection for the personnel environment and equipment that objective can be achieved by automatically sensing an abnormal condition of operation automatically reacting to these conditions by generating the correct outputs to prevent or mitigate the hazardous event providing additional manual facilities for shutdown and isolation and depressurizing the platform, providing audible and visual shutdown status information to the operator and platform. This is a simplified shutdown logic diagram. It looks like a tree diagram. The rectangle is a symbol for the input or a predetermined condition that is considered to be unsafe. This could be sensors, such as transmitter, switches, or fire and gas detectors that detect abnormal condition. Push button or hand switch. Interlock or logic input from the system. This is a signal, which is initiated by control system if several predetermined condition have been fulfilled. The hexagon is an output or an action 
that needs to be performed by the SIS. These can be solenoid valve to actuate pneumatic or hydraulic valve to run or stop pneumatic pump and to release extinguishion breaker to isolated power supply for start or stop electrical powered equipment alarm such as visual alarm or beacon and sounder interlock in oil and gas facility there is hierarchy of shutdown level typically it consists of USD or unit shutdown, PSD or process shutdown, ESD or emergency shutdown, EDP or emerge a pressurized shutdown. The initiation of higher level shall cause lower level shutdown action to occur. The most bottom level is unit shutdown. USD is shutdown of individual process or utility equipment or vendor package. Unit shutdown is initiated to prevent equipment from operating outside preset process limits that may cause damage to the equipment or adversely affect the process. The next level is PSD or process shutdown. PSD will shut down and isolate all related process equipment or systems to limit the probability of an abnormal operating condition, which can lead to an emergency situation. However, utility system will remain operational if possible. Next is ESD or emergency shutdown. ESD will shut down and isolate all designated process-related equipment, including inlet and outlet of plant ESD valves. ESD is initiated by abnormal critical process variable. The highest level is EDP or emergency depressurize. EDP will shut down, isolate, and depressurize all equipment and opening of the depressurizing valve or usually named BDV or blowdown valve to flare. EDP is initiated automatically if there is a detection of fire or gas leak in the facilities. This can be triggered by confirmed fire or gas which is a coincident detection of two or more fire or gas detectors. Please subscribe to our channel since we will be releasing a new video. Or visit instrumentationportal.com for more instrument and control related content. Thank you.